Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira and today we are starting the Careers for Space Agency by Nulis. Today we will be doing our first mission, the Satellite Launch. So, we must start here from Mission Control and we will go to our briefing option. So for mission one, the satellite launch. Our objectives are to place the satellite into orbit and to orient the dish towards the planet and then release the satellite. Our max budget is $8 million and our max time is two minutes, zero seconds. This is your first real mission. The agency has been contracted to launch a new communication satellite into space. You will find the satellite in the payloads section. Place it on top of a rocket and cover it with a fairing. Launch the rocket into space just as you did in the first training mission. Once in orbit, separate the fairing. Orient the satellite dish antenna downward towards the planet's surface and then release the satellite. Good luck. We're counting on you. So they're giving me the tip. They're saying play tutorial number one to learn how to build and launch a rocket. But we already know how to do that. So here are the criteria for our awards. We are going for gold. To do that, we must have our satellite's cost be $4,700,000 or less. And we must have a time of 1 minute 20 seconds. There's also a third objective. We may not use any checkpoints. So on this one, that's no big deal. But on some of the later missions, checkpoints, checkpoints would be very nice to have. So we will go to our vehicle tab. And we will go to build a new rocket. So... We are supposed to launch this communication satellite right here. To do that, we are going to go to our small stages and we will start with the Mercury first stage. And then we will grab a connector small to small. Oh, excuse me, I want to be back in there. And we need a small tug module. So, pretty much any one of these modules that don't have a top on them most of them can have a payload and if we i think yes if we just kind of press in on it it should give us information about the module it tells us the lifting power the fuel capacity uh, and this is where it tells us it tells us that the engine can restart it is maneuverable which means it has the side thrusters and it can attach a payload so if we wanted we could use the delta second stage and we could put the um, put the communication satellite directly on top of that but we're not going to we're going to use a tug module because it is cheaper and because in my opinion the tug modules are better for holding on to payloads that do not maneuver themselves all right and then, last but not least, we need a standard fairing. Now, remember, the fairings are there to keep, to deflect the heat, to keep the object cool, and to make the rocket more aerodynamic. So, we actually could launch this rocket without the fairing. But what would happen is, as we accelerate, the payload, the satellite, would begin to heat up, and it would turn red. And when that happens, uh, if you put too much heat into it, the payload will actually explode. And you will, I believe, fail the mission, maybe? Whether you fail it or not, you can't complete it uh, on the gold achievement at that point. So here's our rocket. I will have the list of all the parts down in the description for you to follow if you wish. And we will launch. So, I will always be skipping to the last six All seconds and beginning my launch. Five, and I four, usually launch three, at like two, three and a half seconds. Start. That's when I start to um, hold the button. 
and then what happens is you get the rocket up to speed and then you can kind of pulse the fuel and when you pulse the main thruster on the rocket that will allow you to get more bang for your buck you'll be able program. to use um, the first stage to go further now you want to try and keep the first stage rolled to within the uh, little marker on the side there and what you can do is when you see it start to fall down below the level mark you kind of roll your finger over to the left button and that will allow you to kind of bounce yourself back up above so I'm actually going to detach right Stage now set. and I'll detach start the set. fairing also and I'll start spinning right now and that way when I get into space I just need to turn a little bit more I can launch the fairing fairing Oops. set there we go and launch the communication satellite released. and we are done mission and complete. there we are we have a gold award we have completed the mission our time was 1 minute 14 seconds, and we spent $4.8 million. But in reality, it's $4.750 million, 475000 But it, it kind of rounds up, so you have the uh, one decimal place. So, every time you complete a mission, you will unlock new rocket parts in the sandbox. So since we go through and we will be doing all of the missions, I'll show you how to get gold on every single one of them. Once you're done, or once we're done here, we should have every single one of the pieces in the sandbox unlocked. All right, everyone, that'll be it. Next time when we come back, we will do the station resupply. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Zira. This is the Nocturnal Gaming Network playing Space Agency. Have a wonderful night.